if you want to optimize Windows 10 take few minutes to try out these tips to speed up your PC and make it less prone to performance and system issues in just few minutes you can try out these tips your machine will be a lot faster quicker and fully optimized first step is change your power settings if you're using windows 10 power saver plan you're slowing down your computer that plan reduces your computer's performance in order to save energy even desktop computers typically have a power saver plan changing your power plan from power saver to high performance or balance will give you an instant performance boost to do it launch the control panel app you can search for control panel on the start menu click the control panel app select hardware and sound power options you will typically see two options balance that's the recommended one and power saver depending on your make and model you might see other plans here as well including some branded by the manufacturer to see the high performance click down arrow by show additional plans but if you see these options the same options on my screen then you can select high performance or you can simply choose the one you want then exit control panel basically high performance gives you the most performance of your computer but that uses the most power balance finds a happy medium between power use and better performance on the other hand power saver does everything it can to give you as much battery life as possible desktop users have no reason to choose power saver um, even laptop users should consider the balance option when unplugged and high performance when connected to a power source or charger all right next is to disable the third-party services and startup programs so one reason your windows computer may feel sluggish is that you've got too many programs running in the background programs that you rarely or never use stop them from running and your computer will run more smoothly to do that search for system configuration you will have system configuration window open go to services tab click hide all microsoft services we will do that because we don't want to disable any microsoft services because those are essential for your windows to run smoothly what we only uh disable are third-party services that are not necessarily needed to run in the background so hide all microsoft services click disable all click apply next disable the startup items so let's open task manager now we are in the startup tab you will see a list of programs and services that launch when you start windows included on the list is each program's name as well as its publisher whether it's enabled to run on startup and its startup impact which is how much it slows down windows 10 when the system starts up to stop a program or service from launching at startup right click and select disable this doesn't disable the program entirely it only prevents it from launching at startup you can always run the application after launch also if you later decide you want it to launch at startup you can just return to this area of the task manager right click the application and select enable many of the programs and services that run on startup may be familiar to you like onedrive or evernote clipper but you may not recognize many of them the task manager helps you get information about unfamiliar programs right click an item and select properties for more information about it including its location um, on your hard disk whether it is a digital signature um, and other information such as the version number the file size the last time it was modified you can also right click the item and select open file location that opens that opens file explorer and takes it to the folder where the files located which may give you another clue about program's purpose next is to clean out your hard disk if you have got a bloated hard disk filled with files you don't need you could be slowing down your computer cleaning it out can give you a speed boost windows 10 has a surprisingly useful built-in tool for doing this called storage sense so let's go to settings system storage at the top of the screen you can move the toggle from off to on when you do that windows constantly monitors your computer and deletes all junk files you no longer need like temporary files files in the downloads folder 
that haven't been changed in a month and old recycle bin files you can customize how storage sense works and also use it to free up even more space than it normally would underneath the storage sense click the configure storage sense or right now from the screen that appears you can change how often storage sense deletes files you can select every day every week or every other week every month or when you when your storage space gets low you can also tell storage sense to delete files in your download folder depending on how long they've been there and set how long to wait to delete files in the recycle bin automatically if you want to free up space right now you can actually click the clean now button next is to disable shadows animations and visual effects windows 10 has some nice eye candy like shadows animations and visual effects on fast newer computers this don't usually affect the system performance but on slower and older computers they can exact a performance hit it's easy to turn them off in the windows search box you can type sysdm.cpl that's a control panel item you can open that that launches the system properties dialog box click the advanced tab and click settings in the performance section that brings you to the performance options dialog box you'll see a varied list of animations and special effects probably a lot easier to just select adjust for best performance at the top of the screen and then click ok or apply then ok windows will turn off the effects that slow down your system next is to disable transparency in addition to turning off shadows animations and visual effects you should also disable the transparency effects that windows 10 uses for the start menu the taskbar the action center it takes a surprising amount of work for windows to create this transparency effects and turning them off can make a difference in system performance to do it just open settings go to personalization colors and scroll down to transparency effects and move the slider to off turning off windows 10 transparency effects can help speed up the computer's performance next is to turn on automated windows maintenance every day behind the scenes windows 10 performs maintenance on your computer it does things like security scanning and performing system diagnostics to make sure everything is up to snuff and automatically fixes problems if it finds them that makes sure your pc runs at peak performance by default this automatic maintenance runs every day at 2 in the morning as long as your device is plugged into a power source and it's asleep there's a chance though that the feature has been accidentally turned off or you haven't had your computer plugged in for a while so the maintenance hasn't been done you can make sure it's turned on and runs every day and it runs manually if you would like to do that open the control panel app and select system and security security and maintenance and in the maintenance section under the automatic maintenance click the start maintenance if you want to run it right now to make sure that it runs every day click change maintenance settings and from the screen that appears select the time you'd like maintenance to run and check the box next to allow scheduled maintenance to wake up my computer at the scheduled time and click ok also you can you can designate a time each day for windows to run its maintenance tasks depending on uh when you're going to use your computer then we have disable game mode option if you're a serious gamer you probably know all about game mode which optimizes your computer for playing games that's great for when you're doing just that but it can slow down your computer when you're not playing because it multitask with lots of processes running in the background so turning off game mode can give your computer a quick boost you can always turn it back on again when you want to play a game game mode is turned on by default so even if you've never played a game on your computer it's probably enabled to turn it off to do that go to settings click gaming go to game mode tab and move the game mode slider to turn off after you do that click the xbox game bar category on the left side and on the screen you come to turn the slider at the top of the screen to off make sure it's off turning off game mode can give your computer an instant boost of performance lastly 
shut down and restart windows if you're not doing that often here's one of it's not quite secret weapons for troubleshooting and speeding up computer shut it and restart it doing that clears out any excess use of ram that otherwise cannot be clear it also kills processes that you might have set in motion and are no longer needed but that continue running and slowing your system if your windows computer has turned sluggish over time for no apparent reason you may be surprised how, how much more quickly it will run when you do this. So if you have tried these steps together with me, you will find out that you've got a faster Windows computer and a computer that is less likely to have any reliability problems. Thank you for watching and spending your time. Have a great day.